What I've been loving for the past two months since I didn't do a beauty favorites in the month of July, I wanted to bring you this video of what I have found that I'm really loving. Friends, I decided to just go ahead and show you the things that I have been loving for this short hair. Um, we have been talking about it in the comments back, back and forth so much. And you guys have been talking about how much you like my hair a little bit shorter. I have to admit, I am not really used to it and it's not really my favorite look on me, although I'm getting more used to it, but I do like my longer hair. So I'm thinking about growing it out just a little bit longer. We'll see how it goes as time goes by. But I wanted to show you some of the things that I'm loving to do my hair. And I actually did this cut because my hair was in rough shape. I don't know what was going on, whether it was a medication change or what, but my hair went through some bad things. And it was looking stringy and it was looking awful. Cut like seven inches off of it. I had to do it. It had to be gotten healthy again. I had to take the plunge. So. As I was doing that though, I was also noticing that my hair was looking re really dull and just not like it, it was itself. It didn't have any life, it didn't have any shine to it. So I went on the search for something that would help give my hair a nicer glaze to it or a nicer glow to it. And I found the John Frieda Luminous Glaze for All Shades and this is a clear shine gloss. This has just changed my hair completely as far as me feeling like it has life again to it. You know, sometimes you feel like your hair is so, so dull with its color and that you, you know, you look at a little girl and she has the most beautiful glossy hair. This is glossy hair in a bottle right here. And this is really easy to use. You can use it in the shower on a daily basis. You leave it on for like three to five minutes, I believe, if you're going to use it on a daily basis. What I do is I'll wash my hair, towel dry it specifically in the sink just to be able to do this. And I will dry it really well. And then I'll put this glaze on it and just pile it on top of my head with a clip and I'll leave it on for like 20, 30 minutes. And then I have this glaze on and it looks so pretty for up to two weeks. So it's usually like about 10 days when I start to notice I need to glaze my hair again, but it doesn't weigh your hair down. It doesn't make it look weird and you know, like it's got water in it or glassy or anything like that. It just gives a natural shine to it. And I really have been appreciating this and it's not super expensive either. I got it at Ulta. Last time I talked about my hair, I held up two products and then all of a sudden I was like, I forgot to even talk about the second product. This was the second product. I have talked about this on my channel before, but what is great about it is that now that my hair is shorter, and now that I'm in menopause and I have a tendency to have my little personal summers, when that happens, this is going to hold my hair in a little bit better. And this is the Kenra Thermal Styling Spray Firm Hold. This is number 19. And what I do with this is after my hair is completely dry, I will go in and I will spray this all over my hair and I'll make sure I lift and spray under and then I will let it dry for a second and then I'll brush through it. And what it does is it holds your curl so dang good. So if you're somebody that straightens or if you're somebody that does use a curling iron like I do, then you're going to notice that your curls are there for so much longer. I got away from this for a long time and I was just really upset with my hair because I thought one of the changes that was going on with it was the fact that I couldn't get it to curl anymore. Well, it wasn't that. It was that I wasn't using this product. I have very fine, very stick straight hair that is limp and this helps with the volume and the curl and all of it. So this is great. I don't spray this on the roots though. You could, there's nothing wrong with that. It actually dries so quickly that it would make those roots stand up if you're using it like, so you wanted to pull a section up, spray that section, let it dry, and then put your curling iron in there. You're gonna have some, you know, great volume because I have done that before as well. Great product, one that I've repurchased probably for the past six years or so. So this is one that I did want to talk about when we we're talking about hair. This is one that I recently came across because of my hairstylist. And this is the Kenra Platinum Blow Dry Advanced Dry Thermal Protectant. And this is kind of like an oily texture. So 
it it doesn't really feel oily though it's like a dry oil so what i do is i spray it on my hand and i work it through my hands and then i'll work it through my hair and i i even put it you know fairly close to the roots because that's the part that i can't really get dry that much and this is so good i won't just open it up and just start spraying into my hair because i do have that really limp hair and i don't want it to be weighed down with too much product but working it through with my fingers and not putting too much on my hands works so good and it does it cuts your drying time by about half if you use a blow dryer and i love that it's an extra thermoprotectant even though that other one was, was as well because i do have color treated hair i feel like i need whatever thermal protection i can get so having an extra one is good for me and this really is lovely as far as cutting down on that drying time and i will also say that there is a shine in this as well a little bit of a shine because like i said it's that dry oil and it smells heavenly i love the fragrance of it and that i'm putting it in my hair i don't mind that there's a fragrance but yeah it smells really really good let's talk a little skincare from elf their holy hydration makeup cleansing balm i hadn't tried this before one of my favorite cleansing balms is from good molecules but i'm almost thinking that they're really close elf might be in inching out good molecules i love that one too but this one it just when you put it on in your fingers and you kind of rub it in and it gets warm it's almost watery i know it's an oil but it's almost a very watery oil and it just takes my eye makeup off super quick without leaving me feeling like i'm super oily afterwards i don't know how they do it but i really do like this very much i'm a big cleansing balm person i love the balms i think i like them a little bit better than i do the oil although i love hot alabos cleansing oil this one is a really good one and i'm just really glad that i tried it i want to try this holy hydration line completely and let you guys know because as you know since i do have such dry skin i very rarely find anything that is moisturizing enough but i will try more of these and this one i can give a big old thumbs up to and then i was sent Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so stoked about this. I was sent from Believe Beauty a care package of their new skincare. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm so impressed. They talk about that it does, that none of these have alcohols in them or dyes in them or the parabens and all those kinds of things in them. I am so impressed by this because guess what? five dollars and under there is no excuse for any of us not to have good skincare anymore head yourself on over to dollar general or head online and get yourself a good skincare regimen this one is the face toning mist and this one has witch hazel and lotus extract this does have that witch hazel smell you remember when we were kids and mom used to put witch hazel on our mosquito bites because alcohol stung the crap out of us but witch hazel was nice this has that in there so it does have that little bit of a fragrance it says an energizing mist that delivers a boost of hydration while toning skin i do feel like it's really great as far as that hydration i use this during the day too i actually i use this very first thing after i cleanse in the morning to give that boost of hydration to my skin so that anything I, that comes after it sinks in a little bit better and it's really going to be locking that moisture in that i put on with this pretty nice mister on it i mean it's not the greatest but it is a fairly nice mister on it it's not super fine but if i want to put this on during the day I really like that as well. This is a great product. I don't feel like it really has a, a lasting funky smell. It just has that witch hazel smell, if you know what I'm talking about. So good. And they have moisturizer, cleanser. They have a new jade roller that's under $5. If you guys have been wanting to try a jade roller, such a good deal. Um, and I can't even remember everything that is there, but I'll make sure that I link them for you below so that you can find that out so good i'm so glad that they did that i'm just so impressed that they could do that for that price point too this baby has been shown in a few videos recently this is from sonia kashik and i did purchase this this month and this is her body sponge but i use it on my face and this sponge i am in love with it's super soft i love that about it and of course you know it plumps up to almost double its size this one does have the water in it and um it's just really squishy and really lovely i use this after i use my foundation after i put on my foundation with a foundation brush and then i will go in and i will really push my foundation in and the nice thing about it is that it picks up the extra foundation and i feel like this has been so good for really helping me to 
pick up the extra foundation that would normally settle into my fine li my fine lines or the creases i usually always have a problem with going oh man i got foundation everywhere and i you know i'm really upset that that is there but using this i use it damp i will wring it out really really well with my hands put it in a towel and then put it in a tissue so it's damp but it's not wet let's say that and then i'll just go over everything it pushes everything into the pores it picks up the excess so that i don't look cakey loving that this is going to be in a foundation tutorial very very soon and i'm in love with it and i'm also getting ready to do a sephora collection video of their makeup and their line that is in sephora and you know reviewing many of those products but i wanted to put this in here because this is one of the standout products from that video this is their palette called i love this one is in bloom and this is so much fun. I have been enjoying this so much, partly because it is so light and it's perfect for me. When I get palettes that are super dark, they are hard for me to work with. They do have darker ones. This is their lightest one. They do have a lot of gorgeous colors that I would love to try. However, you guys know that I am not palette poor by any means. So I just wanted to try one, but I do love this. I love the consistency of it. It reminds me so much of Anastasia Beverly Hills, of my beloved LA girl. I love my LA girl. You guys know this. I love this. It is, those are really light colors. You guys can't see them. I really like the, the feel of these. I love the blendability of these. I love the metallics and how gorgeous they are. I love the color choices that they put in here. I am in love with this formula period it it just blends on my mature eyes so easily and there's no skipping and it wears really well throughout the day because it does have that creamy texture to it i really am enjoying these very very much and i think that if there is one on their collection that you do like the color scheme maybe it's better for you that i believe that they would be just as good and really am enjoying that i also want to talk about this oh my goodness i happened across this at I think it was TJ Maxx or Marshalls, and this is the U Uoma Contour Stick. I know that this is sold out right now at Ulta. I think mine is in pearl, the lightest color, obviously. Um, but I love the contour in this. It's a cream contour, and it has worked so well for me. I am in love with this. I can use this as my contour, and there goes my glasses. I can use this as my contour and my bronzer if I want to, but it's so good as my contour because it is that cool tone, that muddy consistency a little bit that doesn't make me look like I've just got, you know, um, orange for my contour. It's really going to make those places that I do use a contour on my cheekbones and my hairline kind of recede instead of being pushed out like a warm bronzer would. I love this. I absolutely love it. I do use it on a brush. I don't, you know, just draw it on like you see on Instagram tutorials, but I do, you know, use my brush and then go in with it. It's really, really fun. And then on the other side is the illuminator, which I like, but I'm not as impressed as I am with the contour. I like this because it does have that pretty beam to it, that pretty highlighting glow. But if you use it, you don't necessarily need to go that heavy with it. So, you know, sometimes when you get a powder, when it goes on, it's gonna be so bright and so beaming. This can go anywhere from just a glow to the light, light metallic, and it's really pretty. I do love it a lot. As far as the face products, these are so yummy. Buttery super blendable, very, very creamy. These are great. I can't wait to try out more Uoma products. This is my introduction to them. So yeah, I'm in love with this. And lastly, I do want to quickly talk to you about a product that came out from City Beauty, the Lid Lifting Treatment. This I've been testing. They sent it to me like maybe a month ago or more. And I will tell you that, you know, long term, the benefits are going to have to be seen. But as far as what, when you first put this on, the hydration is so good. It's a little bit thicker, but the hydration on your lids is so good that it really does make them feel lifted immediately. So you get the benefit of them looking very plumped and lifted when you very first put it on. And then as time goes on, it does, has some fantastic ingredients in it. I am really liking this and you use such a small amount and you're only
using it on the top eyelid that's where so many people have so many problems so you're going to use it from brow bone to lash line and that area is where it seems like it just shows our age so much personally mine is right underneath there but this area can really at times be really a big struggle for a lot of us and really crepey eyelids i I don't want to just say, oh my gosh, this is the panacea of eyelid grapiness. But I do want to say that it is a very, very moisturizing and for me, a very lifting product. And as I'm going along, I do feel like my lids are looking really great and really lifted and less crepey. So I will report back more about that. But I did want to tell you what my initial findings were for this first month, five weeks, somewhere in there. Really, I'm liking it a lot. So that is it for today's video. I hope that you did enjoy it. Please let me know in the comment section if there was anything this month that stood out to you. Even if it was in your stash, you didn't necessarily pick it up. It stood out to you and we need to know about it because I love that dialogue that we all get going in the comment section. Thanks so much for visiting with me today. Bye. Take care of yourself. Have a fantastic day. And I will catch you guys all in my next video. Goodbye, my friends.